Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy here. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in uh, to this video as always. Hope you guys are doing great. Today I've got some new coffee. Um, so I'm going to try it out. And I thought it'd be great to make an Instagram cinematic video and show you guys the process of what I would do to make something like that. So I'm going to do a setup just on this bench here. Um, obviously I'm going to bring the coffee machine that we've got in from the kitchen up here because it's more light coming in. Um, so first of all I've got a matte black base that I'm just going to stick down uh, on top of the table here. There we go, and then I'm going to pick up the coffee machine. So I'm just going to set the coffee machine down here. Make sure it's got some light. We need to sort that plug out. Bring that up to about there. That's cool. So what I like to do is have like stuff in the background as well. So. Although I see from my Instagram images that there's always some sort of plant in the background which I'll probably have there blurred slightly. Um, I always have like a little coffee book there lying down and then some oh sugar fuck. <laughs> um, so I just had a bit of an issue one of the um, cages that we've got on the wall I just accidentally took off the wall Fixing it right now. So, yeah, a bit of a delay. We'll get back into action very shortly. Shortly, shortly. <laughs> Coffee beans, these are display purposes only, so they're not really in use. But I'm just going to drop a few coffee beans on the surface here. That'll probably do. Just to give it some effect. Put that back on just to get better for now. It. So now, just gonna open this. Now, guys, this is a, a winter blend, which I've only just recently seen, which is quite late in the UK considering winter has essentially passed. I know it's very cold outside. Two minutes. Need to work out more. Channel, you fancy opening this for us? guys it's time to crack on with the b-roll so I'm gonna get the camera off Shana get that all recorded and we'll put it in Premiere Pro and see what it looks like <laughs> Hey guys, so finished the recording of the B-roll. It's time to try some coffee. It's not bad. I've had better, but it's okay. It's coffee. I'm happy. So it's time to edit the footage in Premiere Pro. 
and then be uploading it to Instagram and sharing this video with you guys. Let's get started. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm currently in Premiere Pro and I've put all my B-roll footage into the project panel. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, Instagram stories are for up to 15 seconds. So I wanna try and make it as short and sweet as possible. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure my sequence is set to full vertical video, which is 1080 by 1920. So I'm gonna drop in my first clip, keep existing. And what you're going to need to do for every clip to make sure it does fill up that scene is go into effects control and put in a rotation of 270. There you go. So that fills the full scene. So you're going to have to do that with every single clip. So now what we're going to do is go into the second scene, which is going to be following the coffee handle with the coffee press in. Put that in the timeline and then we'll again go into effects control and make sure we do the rotation for 270. And then we're going to find the third clip which is the glass going onto the coffee machine just underneath the espresso press. Change the rotation as always, fill the scene. And then we've got another scene which is where the camera rotates in while the coffee's pouring. Nice little B-roll sequence, pop that in there. Make them changes, nice little B-roll sequence there. And then we've got one more clip which is where it's coming away from the coffee. So I'll repeat that process. There we go. So it's gonna rotate in. press and then the glass going on let's rotate and enter the coffee going through the press and then it's going backwards now I've got another scene just to end that off so we'll drag that in there which is part of that scene as well we'll make the end points for that which is part of there just drag that screen out slightly Go. Drag that so that's going to be the last sequence. Again, we'll rotate that around. And also, what I'm going to do with this as it's the ending to the Instagram story is I'm going to drop the opacity. So, when it goes past that little black marker, the black, uh, the matte black sheet, we're going to drop the opacity. Uh, we'll put a keyframe in there so it's 100, goes down to about there it to zero. Um, I would just type it in, click in the actual number, click zero, enter, and then I'll fade out. So let's play that. Now we've got a nice fade out. Boom, done. So what I'm gonna do, obviously this is way more than 15 seconds, so I am gonna speed ramp some segments. I'm gonna add in my color um, overlay and then I'm gonna add in some musical sound effects. This isn't going to be included in this tutorial, uh, but I will be doing tutorials on this, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video if you've learned anything from it. Guys, I shall see you next Monday. Thanks for tuning in and have a great week.